buying a car? Yeah, we're buying a truck. Chevy Ford, GMC, V8 or V6. Oh. No, it's for work. Shiny, single cab, oh. LED, stupid Carolina squat. It's uh, the ninth one we've bought this year. So. Cup holders, F350. Okay. Moving along, yeah. Light bars on your mowers, rolling smoke. Long bed single cab. Yeah, it's going good. Yeah, this is gonna be really sweet or crazy. Steven, I'm coming for your job, dude. You better get your act together. We're gonna dominate here. Good, I'm gonna get him a good parking lot shot. I'm gonna become a videographer at some point. Last night, kind of a little bit of back and forth with the Hunterville GM. We're close to 70 mowing customers in Huntersville in a little over a month and a half, which is awesome. With that being said, now it's second truck or maximized profit. We're going second truck. Just kind of let Mike know what was going on. He He's awesome. He lets me kind of do what I think is best for the business. We have a GM that can handle the growth and have no problems putting uh, all gas and no brakes to it. So that's what we're going to do. So I let Mike know like, hey, this is kind of what I'm thinking. Green light, red light, what do you want to do? Mike gave me the thumbs up. He trusts my decision making skills on that. So it is now about two o'clock, 2.30. So we're going to get moving and I'm going to start looking for trucks. <laughs> Now 445. When I look for these trucks for these locations, we're looking for, we know this has got to be a mowing truck, so it has to be a long bed. We need eight feet. I don't care the brand. I don't care if it's got scratches. It doesn't make a difference. Like we're gonna be quick, we're gonna be concise. This right here is Facebook Marketplace. So we're just going here and I'm gonna put F-150. So now I'm looking for, like I said, long bed, 100 to 120,000 miles. I'd like it to be under 120. I wanna stay under $15,000. I don't care if it's V6. I know all you YouTube wonderlanders in there that think you're, you know, you need shiny and you need LED light bars on your mowers and cup holders and all these other shenanigans. We don't need that. We just make, we're just making money. We're not worried about that, right? So I don't need four wheel drive. I don't need, you know, some fancy blacked out headlights, none of that stuff. We're just, just a regular old work truck, right? That's all we're looking for. So here's one 13.7, it's a 2016 Ford F-150 eight foot bed. He's got it all blacked out. I don't really care about this, but I do like that it's only 13 grand, eight foot bed, a 2016. So it's pretty new in 107,000 miles. So this is a good one, right? I'm gonna go ahead and message this guy. Good afternoon. Does the truck have any mechanical issues and does it have a trailer hitch? With that, I don't like to ask, is it available? Because a lot of times they'll just say, don't ask me. Yes, it's still available. Or they'll just ignore you. So like actually act like you're interested. Another place that I like to go into, it's called Auto Tempest. A-U-T-O-T-E-M-P-E-S-D. It searches eBay, Cars, True Car, Carvana, like all these different car websites, right? And let's just start with, let's just do Chevy. Chevy sounds great. Not what we're looking, not what we're looking for, not what we're looking for. Too old. 2003, we don't like to go that old perfect right here 2015 chevy silverado it's a long bed 111,000 miles 13.9 yes it's a dealer um the convenience of they'll do the tags the titles 13.9 for a chevy silverado work truck 11,000 miles it's got a box which we'll get that and I'll, I'll sell it for a couple hundred bucks right we'll buy a weed eater with it like i'm not i'm not overly concerned about that we'll rip that off there no problem it's a truck it's got four wheels right that, oh, we're good maybe i can get it for 12.5 Right, so I can get a, a truck for 12,500, have your sales tax, the tag, all of that would be another thousand. I could walk out with thir for 13,500. Out the door with everything and have a fun functioning truck with 100,000 miles, 110. I'll send a message to these guys and wait for them to call back. Perfect. All right. We run off budget hours. Like a lot of people are Mo customers, right? So like I said, we're running about 40 to 45 budgeted hours out of that truck. We assume that like one guy can do 30. Two guys are probably going to be in the 50 to 55 budgeted hours because you're, you're going to lose a little bit of efficiency and it's a new location. So the route density is not there that we like we want to. It's better than expected, but it's not ideal yet, right? So we've been really good and targeted on all of our door hangers, um, which are crushing it, crushing it, crushing it. So we're going to continue to do that. We're getting probably do two door hangers for every 100 that we put out, but we're going to be 50 to 55 budgeted hours in the next two weeks easy. That's kind of our mindset and thought process on that. Just keep smoking. So it's now 5.03, so less than 20 minutes and I've bought a truck.
It's that simple, guys. 503, we are going to buy the Chevy Silverado. There just isn't a reason why not to. You know, they're all blacked out Fords, and it's got a sound system. We, whatever. I, like, I don't really care. But he says there's an electrical issue uh, with the trailer hitch. I don't want to I don't want to mess with that right now. So this one here, $13,950. Okay, so they're going to give it to me for $12,550. $788 in taxes, $0.50, cents, 95 tag. It'll be $13,433.50 out the door. All right, it is now 9.37 on Thursday. Like I said, we were looking for a truck. I'm at the bank. I'm gonna go into Chase, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get a cashier's check to buy this truck. So within 24 hours, we're gonna buy a truck. So yesterday we started. Today we're gonna go look at it. Never seen it, never nothing. But if it's as advertised, we're on it. Yep, yes ma'am. 13, 4, 33, 50, perfect. Buying a car? Yeah, we're buying a truck no, it's for work. It's uh, the ninth one we've bought this year, so we're okay. moving along. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's going good. Okay. Have a great day. All right, you too. Thanks a lot. 9:43, six minutes in and out. Got the uh, cashier's check. Now we'll head to the dealership here. I've got a coaching call that I'm going to take care of in between. And then Connor from Huntersville is meeting me. Then we're going to meet up, drive down together. That way we can pay for in between coaching calls. And then, uh, there we go. Got to fit in where you can. Buying trucks. I don't waste a lot of time. Everything's more about speed. Let's get all of this figured out as we go. Like, don't spend a ton of time on trying to figure things out. Man, be decisive, be quick. If you can get the majority of your decisions to be positive and right, just keep making more decisions. You'll be good to go. All right, so it is 10.35 a.m. on Thursday, the 27th. Again, we're in the process of buying this truck. We are heading down to the dealership to buy it. Uh, it does have the cap on it. He originally was gonna take it off, but I already have plans to get it to the paint shop today. So they couldn't get their mechanic in to take it off until tomorrow or uh, later this evening. I don't have time for that. So we're just gonna keep moving along. Connor here, uh, the Huntersville GM, as you guys have seen, it is his truck. The way that it's grown, we have to get that obviously outfitted as quickly as possible because he will need it in the next week or two so the goal is we get there if it's got four wheel starts and rolls we're buying it we're gonna move on connor's already seen this process with me it's kind of mind-blowing for him when i like we bought three in one time it happens uh, very fast it's a very quick process we just move forward now i will say this this will be the 14th vehicle in the fleet that i manage and i bought them all like this so and i've never done any major repairs on anything so far, so good. We're gonna roll with it, Connor. You got anything, bro? No, uh, fingers crossed. Twenty-five hundred. That'd be sweet. Was it a Sierra? Oh, it is. Oh, with the cab. Yeah, with the cab. Oh, it's a Silverado. Yeah, that's, that's what I meant. A Silverado. All right, Silverado Sierra, same thing. Let's check it out. Let's see if it has all four wheels. Slight bumper damage. That's why it's a $12,000 truck. All right, let's do the piece. 1110, so we have started it, looked at it, we're buying it. I'm not driving it, like this is good enough. Connor, what do you think, man? Good to go. All right. We're cracking the windshield. Yeah, cracking the windshield, which he will replace the windshield yeah. for us. So no problem, like I said, we're gonna be 12.5. 111,000 miles on it is exactly what we want. I'm trying to lay everything out for you so it's nice and quick and easy for you, man. Yes, Insurance, I'm driver's license, right. registration, check. I'm in and out. In and out. Perfect. Like I said, we're going to probably be buying two in June when I know we're going to be start looking. Because yeah. like, I want the exact thing. Yeah. Single cab. Those are pretty rare. 1500 It could be a V8 or a V6. Like, I, I don't care. I'm just looking for a long bed single cab. Chevy 4, GMC. Yeah, and like the racks we end up putting on them, they... They're easier to put on with like a Chevy or a GMC because um, they're like bolt on and they say they're universal fit, but you know, like universal fit doesn't always mean yeah. universal fit, man. Look, the, but, that top is worth a lot if you sell it on your own. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was like, you know what, I'm gonna end up selling it. That means it. everything. Yeah, I'm gonna end up selling it and buying a weed eater, some mowers, whatever I need to. It's cheaper to paint them than to wrap them. Yeah, exactly. That's why we do it. And we do decals too. So, yeah. like, even that, like, do, to do paint and decals, we can be 11 dollars for yeah. paint and decals. 
Oh. All right, bought, paid for, eleven twenty nine. What? 20, 22 minutes to purchase a truck. There's Connor. This is the truck. Here's the deal, right? Like the the method to my madness is this. I'm not a mechanic. I know a little bit about trucks. I know it starts, it rolls, it does all of those things. Outside of that, I know nothing, right? Like I'm not a mechanic. I mow grass. I was in law enforcement before that, so. This is not my skill set like, to be a mechanic, but I know it runs fine, it drives fine, we're buying it, we're good to go. No lights on the dashboard. What else are you gonna try to figure out if you're not a mechanic? Like, why am I gonna go and test drive 12 cars? This one suits our needs, we bought it. 22 minutes. There are the bolts in there. Not gonna help. I mean, I got one, it just took me 20 minutes. Uh, I'm sure there's probably some cool, slick YouTube way to do this. All you turds on YouTube world. This is how we roll in North Carolina. We're going to get a crane to lift this thing off. Yeah, this is going to be really sweet or crazy. Thank you. Here we are. Everything taken off. Here it is. We're dropping it off at the good old Mako. We took the cap off. It did not have a tailgate, which is fine because we were putting a ramp rack on it. All right, we're heading in. Let's see uh, what the damage is. It's now 146. We're pulling it in the paint shop. Thursday the 27th. Quick. Not too bad. Less than 24 hours. Got us the truck. Yes, sir. All right, we're out of Mako. Four minutes. It's literally like around the corner from the shop. They said it might be done tomorrow, like that day. They're gonna paint and stuff and sand and do all their whatever they little fancy stuff they do. And she said it, it might be finished tomorrow. Yep. Perfect. All right. We are at Mako. It is Wednesday, May third, nine eighteen. Four day turnaround. Phenomenal for like right here, man. Mako doing work. Everybody says there's no way you can get them painted for $500. Absolutely we can. And as you see, there's nothing wrong with this vehicle. It looks just fine. No issues. It looks great. You can see not a single problem here. Our Mako does a really good job. I mean, you don't see any runs. You don't see any little bit over spraying the wheel wells, but I don't care. Looks good. They don't do the door jams. Perfectly fine with me. Don't get caught up on needing a F-350 with LED lights, having the old stupid Carolina squat, and you're rolling smoke and all these shenanigans, guys. Don't worry about it. And we'll put $700 decals with installation. So, it's all it takes. Morning, guys. It is 5.20 in the morning. We are on our way to Chuck's house, going to pick him up. So we're gonna take it over to the decal shop, take Chuck back so that we can both get our days started. It is Friday and we have to work on Friday. So we gotta do this really, really early in the morning. Our crew fell behind this week. And this is the price you pay. So it is Friday, May 5th. Truck's been painted for a couple days. We got it into the decal shop. Red 5 Printing is the guy that we use for all of them, really here in the whole Charlotte market because he does some of the other locations now too because he does such a good job. $697, which includes tax to get full decals on this. That looks like the rest of Augusta Nation. So hopefully he has this in a day or two. Uh, he said it would only take him about half a day to do it. So it's just a matter of what his schedule looks like, but we'll get on it. All right, so. I'm leaving Nara Bread. Gotta love it. Ten dollars, unlimited coffee for the month. Um, let's see, mo truck heading to the sh uh, maintenance shop now, mower shop. But I'm meeting Connor Hutchison, the GM for Huntersville. Get a second truck. Second truck means you get to spend money and buy equipment. So we're gonna go buy mower, weed eater, blower, edger, backpack sprayer, and all of those fun things. So bring everybody along for the ride. These are our guys, right? So we buy all of our stuff from Hoover's and Statesville. Hoover's Lawn Garden, they are awesome. They handle X-Mark, Honda mowers, which go good. 
obviously a different player at some point, um, in rights. But they're very honest. We do a lot of business, so we get put to the front of the line on a lot of things, and they, they fix the stuff home at the media. We're going to go in here, and we're going to spend some money and buy a lot of cool things. But as you can see, like, just mowers and awesomeness. I'm not a big equipment guy, but it is kind of cool to see all this stuff. This cat goes, this is the other people. I just go to work in the deep breath, they love it. That's a standard B, standard X, standard ZK. We'll be getting the standard I, which is the standard intensity. It is not one they have out here right now. I believe they are on back order. So we will see how long that takes to get. Also, if you're starting a business, get yourself a local dealer like Hoover's. Find a good one. These guys always take care of us. Um, they always get us right in and get us out, get us back to working. So, Connor, paying for everything. As you see, $205. Again, soft rake, flat shovel, hard rake, uh, spade shovel, pruners, and we've got, we do a trash can on every mow truck as well. That's it, those are all the tools we buy, $205 for every truck. Who doesn't like some good mowers, right? Brand new, first start of the new mower, loading her up. And then, 0.2 hours. hours, you gotta love it. As everybody knows, we run the Honda residentials, um, HRNs, Echo Sprayer, 770 blower, now it was a 96 20, or 2620 edger, stick, straight shaft stick edger, and the SR225 weed eater. 